Thank you. Um, hi, I'm Trinity Johnson. I'm a po uh, I'm a senior at Westside High School. And this is my poem, Coming This Fall, Poverty, Rated T. I never watched scary movies, got no joy out of a fantasy when the reality I was living is that I would be nobody. A family desperate for dinero, told I'd never be anything, never have a talent or a voice. Your underprivileged family starts from nothing, stays nothing, supposed to stay in the societal cracks they shove you into, sinkholes full of families deeper than my empty pockets at points in my life. I didn't choose hunger, it chose me. Let the poor die starving, I watched the trees become overgrown, ashamed of what they lived by. The heartbeat of my home was ghetto bird cries, the only semblance of safety because the quiet will eat you alive. Ironic, from the starving family, never whole, never fast, in fact, and enjoys making you hear whispers where trees rustles, creaks on the carpet, car doors in the driveway, car doors in the driveway to take pictures of the broken, the bruised. Were they trying to save her or did they purely want money? When I explain to people that this is real, there is no figurative in my language that people drove to my house to take pictures, to sell it, to take it from us, displacing a whole family because the funds were never enough. It's hard to be afraid of voices, of monsters, when the monster in your home was poverty. I never had to be scared of La Llorona because the water was on never long enough for her to stop by. And now I sit with students who drive Audis and Lexuses where I come from. It's wife beaters and blacked out vans to hide activities. The only color you'll ever know is red and blue. So now that I can watch scary movies and the only break in silence I fear is a witch cackle. Why do I still live life like I'm starving? Is it because you can take the person out of poverty and not poverty out of the person? I know that's cliche, but when I hear about the girls talk about the money they've spent Spend the lives they've had, the vacations they've enjoyed. I wonder if they would think my life was a scary movie. Read a T for truth, because there's nothing more terrifying than realizing there's families out there with absolutely nothing but quiet. But we still let poverty be a disease and refuse to make a vaccine. But I guess at that point, it wouldn't even be a cure. <laughs> for the poet, let them know, let them know. All right, judges, in three, in two, in one, let's do this. All right, I have a 9.4, a 9.3, an 8.9, a nine, and a 10. 